Hello, my dear students, and welcome to this week overview. During this week, we're going to be talking about speed and velocity. So how are instantaneous speed and average speed different? So average speed is computed for the entire duration of a trip, and instantaneous speed is measured at a particular instant. So speed is the ratio of the distance an object moves to the amount of time the object moves. So the unit of speed is meters per second. Two ways to express the speed of an object are average speed and instantaneous speed. Average speed, so technically sometimes it is useful to know how fast something moves from an entire trip, even though its speed may change during the trip. Average speed is the total distance traveled, which is denoted as d divided by the time, which is also denoted as t. It takes to travel that distance, so technically average speed, total distance over total time, or d over t if you want to abbreviate it. So calculating the average speed while traveling on vacation, for example, you measure the times and distances traveled. So for example, you travel 35 kilometers in 0.4 hours, followed by 53 kilometers in 0.6 hours, what is your average speed? So what you guys are going to do is that you're going to add all the distances together and add all the time together. So that's why we have total distance and total time. And remember, meter per second and kilometer per hour. So how you guys are going to solve is that you have to plan a solve. So what unknown are you trying to calculate? What formula can change the given quantities and the unknown and replace each variable with its known value? So a person jogs four kilometers in 32 minutes, then two kilometers in 22 minutes, and finally one kilometers in 16 minutes. What is the jogger's average speed in kilometers per minute? So pay attention that I want kilometer per minute. So what happened is that I'm going to start looking at the total distance. So I'm going to take the distance of each station by itself and add them together as the total distance. So, so the answer is here. So four kilometer plus three uh, plus two kilometers plus one kilometer, okay? Divided by the entire time, which is the first time 32 minutes, the second 22 minutes, and the third 16 minutes. Another example, a train travels 190 kilometers in three hours and then 120 kilometers in two hours. What is the average speed? Again, I have to add all the uh, distances together, divide them by the entire total amount of time for the, for the traveling time. So the instantaneous speed, sometimes you need to know how fast you are going at a particular moment, which is the instantaneous speed. So it is the rate at which an object is moving at a given moment uh, in time.